this video, we will be going over the ligaments of the foot. We will start on this model here. This is a right foot with half of the tibia and fibula attached to it. So it is in the anatomical position. We have the anterior, the posterior, the lateral, the medial, and then the dorsal side, and we'll have the plantar side underneath. Turning the foot so that the medial side is facing us, this is the big toe here. These four colors here, these four ligaments, these make up the medial collateral ligament of the foot, or of the ankle. So, the first part, this blue here, it is called the anterior tibio -talar part of the medial collateral ligament of the foot. We have here this gold connecting the tibia and the navicular. So it is our tibio navicular part of the MCL of the foot. Next, we have this orange. This orange is connecting from the tibia to the calcaneus. Is the tibio calcaneal part of the MCL of the foot. The last part of the MCL is the yellow. This yellow right here, it's also connecting the tibia and the talus. So yellow is our tibio Taylor part of the MCL of the foot. Now we have turned the foot so that the lateral view is facing us. So our fibula is here and these three, these two green and this turquoise color, these three colors are different parts of the lateral collateral ligament of the foot. So starting here, this blue, we have the calcaneus and our fibula. So this blue is our calcaneo fibular part of the LCL of the foot. All right, then we have anterior and posterior talofibular part. So we are on the anterior side of the foot and this is our talus right here. From here to the fibula, we have, this is our anterior talofibular part of the LCL of the foot. Moving to the posterior side, here. So we have another, this is our posterior talofibular part of the LCL of the foot. Now, if we turn this foot so we can see the plantar side, this whole blue right here, that is our plantar aponeurosis. It covers the whole bottom side of our foot. Plantar aponeurosis. Now we have a left foot in the anatomical position and we will be going over the intertarsal ligaments on this foot, on the dorsal, our dorsal, and our plantar side underneath. And this is our medial and our lateral side of this left foot. Here we have the plantar side of our left foot. And we will be going over the plantar intertarsal ligaments. So it means in between the tarsal bones. Our first one is this blue one right here. It goes from the calcaneus bone to our navicular bone. This is our navicular bone here. This ligament is called plantar calcaneo navicular ligament. Next we have this pink here. This pink touches also the calcaneus, 
and it touches this bone right here. This is our cuboid bone. So this pink is called our plantar calcaneo cuboid ligament. It is also called the short plantar ligament. Moving on to these navy blue tapes. These are connecting our cuneiform bones. We have three of them. And our navicular bone here. So these dark blues are called plantar cuneonavicular ligament. Next, we have this green. This green is covering our cuboid bone and our navicular bone. This green is called our plantar cuboidio navicular ligament. Plantar cuboidio navicular ligament. That is the plantar intertarsal ligaments. We are now on the dorsal side of our foot. We are looking at the posterior side of the foot because that is the anterior. This is our medial side and our lateral side. Now, on the dorsal side, we also have intertarsal ligaments. So we will begin with this pink right here. This pink ligament is attaching the talus and this is our navicular here. So this pink ligament is called our dorsal talonavicular ligament. Next, we will go to our orange ligament. This orange right here is connecting from the calcaneus to the navicular. So it is called our dorsal calcaneo navicular ligament. Our next one is this blue here. We are on the lateral side of the foot. We have this blue that is also bifurcated. It is coming from the calcaneus to the cuboid. So this blue is called our dorsal calcaneo cuboid ligament. Next we go to this yellow. This yellow ligament here is connecting our cuboid bone to our navicular bone, our navicular. So it is called our dorsal cuboidio navicular ligament. Cuboidio navicular ligament. Next we have these gold. These gold ones here, they are connecting our three cuneiforms to our navicular bone. This is our navicular connecting to our cuneiforms. So this gold, all of these are called dorsal cuneo navicular ligament. And then lastly on the dorsal intertarsal ligaments we have these red. These are connecting in between each cuneiform. So these red are called dorsal intercuneiform ligament. Interosseous talocalcaneal ligament. If we come here on the dorsal side of the foot this is the lateral side, okay? In between the calcaneus, which is this big bone here, and the talus up here, in between them, in this space, this is where our interosseous talocalcaneal ligament would be. That is the dorsal intertarsal ligaments. We are now back onto the plantar side of the foot to complete our tarsal metatarsal 
ligaments. Now, our plantar tarso metatarsal ligament connects these tarsal bones to our metatarsals. So these red are the plantar tarso metatarsal ligament. On the dorsal side of the foot, we have our dorsal tarso metatarsal ligaments. They are connecting the tarsal bones to the metatarsals. Once again, on the plantar side of the foot, we went over this pink and we called it the short plantar ligament. Now, if we were to add another layer on top of this, it would look like this. So this orange sits on top of that short plantar ligament. And this one is called our long plantar ligament, or it is also called our plantar calcaneo-metatarsal ligament. Connects from our calcaneus all the way up to our metatarsals, okay? So, Dor Palmer. So, plantar calcaneo-metatarsal ligaments, this orange, okay? We will now do the intermetatarsal ligaments. So, on the plantar side, we have plantar intermetatarsal ligament. It's connecting the metatarsals. On the dorsal side of the foot, we will also have intermetatarsal ligaments. So here, the pinks, the pinks are our dorsal intermetatarsal ligaments. We will now be doing our metatarsal phalangeal ligaments. These are in between our metatarsals and our phalanges. So to begin, we have the transverse metatarsal ligament. This gold is our transverse metatarsal ligament. It crosses the heads of the metatarsals. These pinks going here, these are on the plantar side of the foot. And so they are called the plantar metatarsophalangeal ligaments. It connects the metatarsals to the phalanges. On the sides, this is the medial view here. We have on the sides here, along all of them, and we have on the other lateral side also, along all of these, okay? So, these side ones, these are called collaterals. And since it's surrounding the same joint as this one, it is called collateral metatarso phalangeal ligament for all of these. <music> Lastly, we have the interphalangeal ligaments. So, all of these here, these, because they're in between the phalanges, they're all interphalangeal ligaments. So this green is our plantar interphalangeal ligament. Technically, all of these here are called our plantar interphalangeal ligament because they're connecting in between phalanxes. Then this yellow here, specifically on the big toe, it's on the side, so it is a collateral, and it is surrounding the IP joint, so it is a collateral interphalangeal ligament. Again, all of these are technically collateral interphalangeal 
ligaments on both sides. Being more specific now, for toes two through five, we have a proximal joint and a distal joint. So this orange here on toes two through five, they are called plantar proximal interphalangeal ligament. And the light blues on the side of them, the collaterals, they are called collateral proximal interphalangeal ligament, okay? On both sides there, these light blue. We will do the same process for the DIPs, which are the distal interphalangeal joints. These pinks are covering those joints. So these ligaments are called plantar distal interphalangeal ligament and the dark blue are the collateral distal interphalangeal ligaments. That concludes the ligaments of our feet.